Hello and welcome again. In this tutorial, we shall learn how to add bootstrap to the project to use the bootstrap model dialog. So let's flip over to Visual Studio. And to do that, I'll have to right click and click on add, add client side library. And within the client side library, I have to search for jQuery. at the rate and go for the latest version which is 3.41 okay and click on install so it will be installing in the www root slash lib slash jquery and it will install there so restore operation completed so lib folder is formed under the www root okay and next i will have to install the bootstrap okay so right click again click on add client side library and this time this will not be cdn js but this will be js deliver and look for bootstrap so bootstrap at the rate now I've got this 441 and the latest version. Let's click on install and the restore operation is completed. Okay, so now we can see the bootstrap is installed. jQuery is also installed. Core.js, jQuery.js and bootstrap has got three folders. Okay, so at the moment we won't take this any further but we'll have to add these um, bootstrap as well as the jquery reference in the host.cshtml which is in the pages folder okay so open this one and we'll put two scripts uh, after this framework front slash blazor.server.js so i have now got these two scripts you know lib slash jquery slash jquery min dot js and lib slash bootstrap slash this slash j slash bootstrap dot min dot js so i'll be able to handle the bootstrap model with these two references okay so in this lecture we have seen how to add the bootstrap for using the bootstrap model dialog so what will be a mode model dialog we'll introduce in the next lecture